All right, let me tell you what I did. I pushed one way and pulled the other way, and that's the stock hanging right over there. And this is the root system. These are the roots. And these are the tubers. These are the part that are edible. And they're like a potato. I've got my pot here already. I'm just going to wash it. But I'm just breaking them off. They're tubers like, um, they're not bulbs, like a tulip. They're tubers like a um, iris. But they're not irises, of course. They're in the, um, they're called um, sunchokes. And they're in the sunflower family. If you look, I mean, they're tall. And they got that yellow flower at the end. But, I mean, it's nowhere near the size of a, a sunflower, though. They're little. They're like, they look like daisies, I guess. But look, these are green. These are growing tips that got exposed to the sun. So I don't know if I want to eat those. But these are the, they're going right in my bucket. I got quite a few. I'm just shaking off the dirt. And there's a, there's one. I'm ripping it off. Oops. There we go. See another one in there. Rummaging in the dirt. So I apparently I'm revamping the garden because that's what I'm doing today. Oh, let's flip it over. Got the outside. It's still kind of in there. Hold on. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I flunked you down in the dirt there. I'm trying to cons um, keep as much dirt in this bed as I can. Because, you know, I want to grow in here next year. So, I'm trying to keep as much dirt as I can in there. And then I'll replant some of these. I mean, obviously, these ones with the green, I'll, I'll do those already. Replant those, no problem. These did turn out kind of good. I mean, not exactly what I was expecting. But I didn't really know what to expect, so I didn't have many expectations. And the chickens have been around in here. They were... Before I started ripping stuff up, they were they were in here helping me out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dig these up, cook them up, see how the family reacts. I mean, and I only had a half a pound of these little tubers, and I mean, some of them were little. I planted tubers that looked like that in the spring, and now I got this one. I got I got more than a half a pound off this one plant. So, and they're invasive, like I said. They'll keep going. Just like horseradish is invasive, it's the, you know, whatever. Hopefully, I would like the way these taste. And I'm not too finicky, but we'll, we'll try them out. You can roast them, boil them, however you cook potatoes, you can do these. Okay, well, I'm going to continue this. I think you've probably seen enough. Or maybe you haven't seen anything at all. I'm just digging around here. There's one. I'm just digging around it because it's kind of like potatoes are kind of nice. I guess because they've been cultivated for a long time. This is more of a rustic crop. Is that what I want to say? That it, you know, whatever. Who knows? Who knows anything? Waiting to hear your comments on this. I, I don't get many comments. I don't get much input at home. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Um, somebody asked about the loofahs. I got one. Got one. I got like six actually, and then I left them outside over the winter in my on my porch and I I did one all the way down to not all, processed, it, processed it all the way down and uh, that one is the only one that I kind of have left the other ones kind of rotted and did whatever they did naturally um, I know people have success in on the blogs that I read, well, the one that I read, read about lufa gourds, that they are in 
a drier climate. So when they, they garden in the winter and then they have a, the summer is too hot to garden. So they harvest their lupas going into that hot, dry season and um, they do really well to dry out and, you know, whatever. But I harvested mine in the fall, obviously, and it was not conducive to processing them. So if I get to grow them again, which I think I have seeds, so next spring I'll plant some more that I'll get to, um, I'll know that and then I'll be able to do something more conducive to them being a viable product for me to use. All right. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm sure you'll see my garden again. All right. Bye.